Happy Tuesday sa ating lahat at syempre, welcome sa Manila Med Healthline. Ako po ang iyong makakasama, Hannah Lapita, na para sa isang hapong punong-puno ng informasyon dahil pag-uusapan natin ng mga iba't ibang health issues patungkol sa, na nakaka-apekto sa ating pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay dito sa syudad. And for today's episode, we are gonna talk about the different types of skin cancer na prevalent dito sa ating bansa. To know more about this topic, let's all watch this video. Upang lalo nating maintindihan ang topic nito, we've invited one of the greatest at syempre, is hindi mo maide-deny na isa sa pinakamagandang dermatologists and of course, dermatopathologists dito sa Manila Med. Let's all welcome Dr. Aileen Abesamis Cobilian. Magandang hapon po, Dok. Yeah, at syempre, welcome po sa Manila Med Healthline. Pati yun naman po ang ating mga viewers dyan. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Ayan. Thank you yeah. po sa, mm -hmm. for coming here at uh, Manila Med Healthline. Ito, Doc, to start with, and I'm sure madami din kasing katanungan ng ating mga viewers, mm -hmm. which reminds me na dapat itype nyo po ang inyong mga questions or comments dyan at sasagutin yan mamaya ni Doc uh, Kobilian. To start with po, paki-explain sa ating viewers since ang topic natin it's uh, different mm -hmm. types of skin cancer na mas prevalent dito sa bansa natin. Ano po ba yung tipo ng skin cancer na to? So, yung common at skin cancer sa ating bansa would be yung basal cell carcinoma now in short shortcut BCC tawag namin mm -hmm. or squamous cell carcinoma or SCC. SCC and then yung dalawang yon galing doon sa epidermis so yung pinaka um, more of yung talagang sa, sa medyo superficial part of ng balat natin mm -hmm. pero pwedeng bumaba din yung melanoma naman yun usually na parang nagmumukhang nunal mm -hmm. pero cancer pala So yun. so, yun ang tatlong common na skin cancers dito sa atin. Okay po, yes. Doc. And uh, ano po ba yung mga causes, nagko-cause ng mga, yung nabanggit niyo mm -hmm. pong tatlong prevalent na skin cancer sa Philippines? Well, for yung sa basal cell or sa squamous cell at saka sa melanoma, ang common causes would be sun exposure. Mm -mm. Although marami din naman ito na tipong nakikita din dun sa mga hindi naka-expose sa sun, yung mga tagong areas ng katawan. Mm -mm. So, syempre, meron din talagang genetically predisposed to have cancers. Meron din cause nun is because of mga toxic substances. Mm -mm. Let's say like chemicals, kagaya ng arsenic. Mm -mm. And actually, meron yung isang uh, pag-aaral na nakita na may arsenic Uh, poisoning or keratosis na nagkukos ng cancer na galing sa tubig yung sa sa poso, yun, ah. mga well water, like there's this um, town in Pampanga na nakita mm -mm. yon so para kailangan din um, i we have to deal with that as well. You've mentioned po yung sa poso, mm -mm. yung mga causes na to. Yeah. In terms of demographics ng tao po, sino po ba yung type of people that are at risk Uh, to having skin cancer. Nabanggit ko regarding um, sun exposure. Yes. So, yun ang pinaka-common. So, there are two kinds kasi of sun exposure. Yung cumulative, meaning, paano kung farmer ka, parati kang nasa araw. Mm -mm. <coughs> babad. So, so, talagang babad ka sa araw. Meron naman yung intermittent sun exposure. Ibig sabihin, most of the time, indoors ka, pero pag magbapakasyon ka, baborakay ka, biglang mm -mm. exposed ka ah. sa sun ng matindi. So, yung intermittent yun. Okay. So, for yung mga squamous cell carcinoma mm -mm. Uh, at saka basal cell carcinoma, usually, uh. yun yung sa mga parang medyo matagal nang na-expose sa sun. Um, yung melanoma, yung, yung mukhang nunal pero cancer pala, mm -hmm. most, like, most of the time, 
associated sila dun sa mga intermittent type of sun exposure. Yung bigla ang lakad, tas medyo nababad din sa sun. Yes, kasi syempre parang um, nasabik sa araw, uh -oh. so sobra naman kung ma-expose sa sun. Especially ngayon, Doc, siguro na summer ngayon, mm -hmm. di ba? Ang daming pupunta sa beach, yes. ganyan. You've mentioned din po yung melanoma, na yung mga parang akala mo nunal, but it's dangerous na pala. Mm -hmm. Paano po kaya gaat? What, uh, yung time po ba na pag nakita na nila, when is it dangerous na parang I should, I think I should get this tested na kasi parang iba na yung pakiramdam ko. May basis po ba tayo sa ganun? Yun madali lang yun for the, for the mga, yung sa mga nunal, meron tayong A, B, C, D, E mm -hmm. of melanoma. Parang A, kung asymmet um, asymmetrical, meaning example, normally kasi yung nunal natin, bilog siya, di ba? Yes. So kung hatiin mo sa gitna, yung kalahati ba kamukha ng kalahati? Ah. Parang ganun. Kung example, yung isa parang brown, yung isa medyo may pagka-white, medyo magduda ka na ng konti, patingin ka na lang. Mm -mm. B naman is borders. Maguguhitan mo ba ng husto, bilog na bilog ba yan? Mm -mm. Or, or medyo nag-fade ba yung kulay? dun sa katabi niya, na parang hindi mo talaga magawa ng, ng border, shape niya, uh -oh. ng border. C naman, so ABC, C is color. Mm -mm. So, mas maganda yung uniform. Most patients kasi sabi nila, tipo, na kung itim-itim ng nunal ko, mm -hmm. baka naman masyadong buhay na buhay. Uh -oh. Well, actually, kung uniformly black siya, uniformly brown, that's good. It's safe. It's safer. Pero kung example, iba-iba kulay, may light brown, may white, may ganyan, iba-iba kulay, then medyo you have, you have to become suspicious. Mm -mm. And then D is diameter, yung size niya. Kung yung size niya is less than 6 millimeters, parang yung pencil eraser yun eh. Yun yung basis. Yung, ng, okay. Parang kung normally kasi pag malignant siya, More than that. Mm -mm. Pero syempre, marami exceptions naman to the rule. So, yon. And then, um, kasi meron mga tayong mga moles na malalaki, di ba? Yes. Hindi naman lahat ng moles na malalaki eh, cancerous. Uh -uh. So, you just have to be suspicious about it. E is evolution. Mm -hmm. Meaning, gaano ba ka bilis nag-change yung itsura nung nunal na yon. Ay, pwede yun. pa rin magbago yung nunal pag yes. ganun, Doc. Kasi minsan, may iba na parang, eh, maliit lang naman tong nunal ko. Siguro, sabi ni Doc, 6 millimeters, hindi naman. Mm -hmm. Pero iba pala yung kulay, tapos nag-change siya. For example, last year, ito yung itsura niya. Itong year na to, oh, pati iba, iba, na, na, iba mm -hmm. na itsura niya. So, those are the types that you have to be suspicious. Hindi naman ibig sabihin cancer ka agad, pero just to be suspicious about it. Mm -mm. Yeah. Siguro, Doc, sa mga viewers natin, syempre pa summer na, di ba? The mm -hmm. summer season is coming and hindi natin maiiwasan na pumunta tayo sa Boracay or somewhere na magpapalamig. Uh, pag nasa outdoors na po ba tayo, syempre, we need to use sunblocks. Ano po ba yung level ng SPF na required? Yung for the sunscreen kasi, Um, basically, pag example, like, uh, kung talagang matinding araw, mm -mm. SPF 30 or higher. Mm -mm. Pero ang pinaka-importante is not the SPF number. It's more of how you apply. Kasi other people, feeling nila, uy, naka-sunblock, naka-sunscreen naman ako, mm -mm. safe na ako, pwede na ako magbabad the whole day. Mm -hmm. It, misconception yon kasi pwede kang mag-burn pa uh -uh. din. Mm -hmm. So, it's more of, it's not just the SPF number, but you also have to look kung ano ba yon kung ano bang ingredient. Is it just, kunin nyo yung nakalagay UVA and UVB coverage. Mm -mm. Better pa, tignan yung ingredients. The safest one is kung meron zinc oxide, titanium dioxide as part of the ingredient mm -mm. Na, na contained yung dun sa sunscreen na yon. Gano'n po ba da dapat how frequent should one apply the sunblock when she or he is, is exposed outside po? Kung talagang intense sun, dapat every two hours. Two hours. And you have to apply it around 15 to 30 minutes before you go out. Mm. Kasi most, most sa atin, eh, pag nandun na. Pag nandun na, maglalagay, <laughs> tapos jump to the water, parang gano'n. So, syempre, hindi pa naman nakapenetrate yun. So, tapos paglabas mo ng tubig, nawala na rin siya. Even if the sunscreens would say, it's waterproof mm -mm. and all that, you still have to do that na every two hours. Especially if you sweat, then you mm -mm. also have to reapply again. But basically, it doesn't mean that when, and also the amount of sunscreen that yes. you have to apply, 
Kasi tayo, konting dot, 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 okay, okay na. <laughs> but actually, you have to put medyo a lot. Eh. Um, Example, let's say like sa face and the neck, mga what, half a teaspoonful or mm. tapos sa butt. Actually, the whole from head to toe, dapat, dapat two tablespoons eh. Ayan ah, just kung may ganyang <laughs> so, measurements minsan, pala. Minsan, parang hindi mo tipo, naku, maputi ka na, gisha uh-uh. ka na, parang ganun. But that's the ideal one. Mm-mm. Kasi nga, some people would think that they've applied already adequate sunscreen when actually, hindi pa. And so, mm-hmm. tapos sabihin nila, oh, ba't ako nasunog? Eh, kasi hindi naman adequate. Hindi pala tama yung pag a yeah. nila. And better still, eh, di, may mga rash guard naman na ngayon, diba? Mm-hmm. So, yes. those are the, ano, preventive na pwede. Na parang yun. additional to mm-hmm. the sunscreen. Ayan, thank you, Doc. Yeah. At syempre, you've mentioned din po kanina yung evolution, yung yeah. sa nunal. Paano po, kasi diba, we have this thing called buhay na nunal. Mm-hmm. Gano'n po katotoo yun na, uh, is it, also dangerous or ni, naiugnay po ba siya sa skin cancer na melanoma? Pag sinabi mo kasing buhay na nunal, tingin, I think, ibig sabihin, nakaumbok? Opo. Or, or like, for example, parang this, last year, ma- maliit pa lang yung nunal, tapos ah. biglang, iba na yung form niya and everything, ganun po. Well, actually, yung nunal natin kasi, it also grows as we grow. Mm-mm. So, example, yung pagbata tayo, mas flat. Yes. Then, as we grow older, it can be mas naka-elevate. Pwede yon. Tapos, pag tumatanda tayo, yung moles natin, biglang nag-fade. Mm-mm. Parang ganun talaga yung evolution of the ah. moles also. But it's more of like, you look at the A, B, C, D, E of your moles and Mm-mm. see kung nag-iba ba siya in terms of naging asymmetrical ba siya, Mm-mm. nag-iba ba siya ng kulay. Okay. Then those are the things that would make you suspicious. Pag ginagalap, kasi normally yung people, if they see something na, ala, dati wala to, tapos kinukot-kot nila yung nunal, does it lead po to being cancerous kapag ganun? Hindi. Um, bihira kasi yung cancer that would come directly from a mole. Although it happens Mm-mm. na yung melanoma arising from a mole. Yes. Pero commonly is melanoma na siya from the start. Ah. Yun. So yung pag nakot-kot siya, example like areas na sa men, like sa beard area, sinishave. Mm-hmm. Siyempre na-irritate. Pwede nag-iiba itsura tuloy. Nagmumukhang malignan. Mm-hmm. That's when we do Um, check-ups and biopsies just to see ano ba to kasi minsan maski itsura niya parang ano ka na rin suspicious ka na rin mm-hmm. so any suspicious moles it would be nice it would be good to biopsy to really see is it a mole is it benign or is it malignant okay pa yeah. thank you po doc and as yun na mention niyo po kanina yung AB uh, hanggang E na list that's mm-hmm. for mel- melanoma for melanoma what about yung 2 po ano pa po yung signs and symptoms of that type of skin cancer yung squamous cell carcinoma, mukha lang siyang minsan, especially for the early ones, mukha lang siyang eczema, na yung parang sa balat, balat na mapula, yes. na rough lang, Mm-mm. scaly lang, iba tingin nila, parang buni lang. Parang iba yung texture. Yes. Pero hindi gumagaling dun sa mga gamot, yon Or sometimes, nandun lang, hindi siya makate, hindi siya masakit. Ah. Actually, those are the ones that are um, medyo parang suspicious ka na parang adyan lang. Mm-hmm. Eh, most patients would say, eh, adyan lang naman, hindi naman ako, wala naman ako nararamdaman. Yes. So, harmless siya. Which is actually more of, that's when you would think, why, Mm-mm. bakit nandyan siya na wala kang nararamdaman. Yun. Now, for the basal cell carcinoma, ito yung mga, usually you see it sa mga exposed areas na mga older, Mm-mm. older patients usually parang kung may, meron ka sa balat na bukol na medyo nag-ulcerate, nagkakaroon ng sugat pero painless, Mm-mm. or bigla na lang nag-bleed, ng ka- konting touch lang nag-bleed na, mm-hmm. pero painless din siya. So those are the ones that you have to be suspicious again. Ayun. Thank you, Doc, for yung top three and giving their uh, signs mm-hmm. and symptoms. Now, in terms po dun sa pag avoid ng skin cancer, paano po ba yung viewers and uh, the public na ma-avoid yung skin cancer? Paano po ba yun? Well, like I said, yung UV, di yes. ba yung sun exposure, so you have to protect yourself um, properly with a sunscreen or if you can have like hat. Although sabi mm-hmm. na parang hindi naman daw cool if you wear a hat <laughs> sa, or umbrella, ganon. And then I mentioned about um, some toxic substances yes. also. So, um, yun, just be careful lang in terms especially sa mga herbal medicines or akala nila ju- just plain herbal medicine, mm-hmm. you have to look at the ingredients kasi. Okay. Pa. And then, of course, there are also other cancers that are caused by um, 
HPV, which is the virus, mm -mm. usually are those the ones that you get cancers from the genital area. So, yon. So, you just have to be careful regarding Personal that hygiene pa rin po bumabansa. Yeah, and then, of course, safe sex and yes. all that. So, mm -hmm. yon. And then, um, there are some din naman with chronic infection. Para ang tagal-tagal na ng sugat na yon hindi pinapagaling. You have to see kasi minsan it can also transform, have malignant transformation mm -mm. din kasi. Ayan. Thank you, Doc. And uh, para sa mga viewers natin na siguro nag-aalang, I think I have to do a checkup for this mm -hmm. one. Ano po ba yung um, uh, uh, gamot para sa, sa skin cancer? Yung skin cancers kasi, um, parang may levels yan kasi. So, kung melanoma, nakita na mababaw lang, pwedeng tanggalin mo lang, and then that's it na. Mm -mm. Basta just to make sure, syempre lahat ng tinatanggal, binabiopsy para makita kung lahat ba na tinanggal or may natira pa. Mm -mm. Yun. Miss Quimus cell carcinoma na mababaw lang, na pwedeng excision lang, tanggalin yes. lang, okay na. Mm -mm. Ganun din yung basal cell carcinoma na tipong dun sa biopsy, syempre papadala sa pathology hindi ba nag-extend dun sa excision mar margin, mm -mm. then pwede na yon. Pero ang mahirap is, kung example, masyadong malalim yung cancer, example like melanoma din, mm -mm. kasi kung malalim na, for sure, nakapunta na siya sa ibang organs. So commonly, yung sa mga kulani natin, mm -mm. yun, syempre, pag nag-spread na siya sa kulani or sa ibang organs like the liver, the lungs, then syempre yung... Um, prognosis natin, ibig sabihin, yung survival, ano natin, eh, bumababa na. Mm -mm. Yeah. And maraming maraming salamat, Doc, sa inyong mga kasagutan sa ating mga tanong. And of course, sa lahat ng mga viewers natin dyan, i-comment nyo na ang inyong mga questions or inquiries sa ating comment section below dahil pagkatapos ng ating break, Dr. Akubilian here will answer it live na live and all of this will happen sa pagbabalik ng Manila Med Healthline. We are healing professionals, trained by science, molded by experience. We are in the practice of proactive health care. We dedicate our lives to you, and in the process, we ourselves become better. Manila Med, only our best to make you feel better. sa Manila Med Healthline at syempre we're still talking about the different types of skin, skin cancer na prevalent here in the Philippines and we're still here with uh, Dr. Aileen Kubil, uh, Kubilian and as mentioned po kanina we're gonna answer yung mga questions from our live viewers mm -hmm. to start with po from Rodel Gabriel sabi po niya paano po makakaiwas sa skin cancer ngayong summer may mga apo ako prone po ba sila sa anong type ng skin cancer in terms of sa mapiprevent talaga pag-iwas ng pagkakaroon ng sunburn. Yun ang mm -hmm. pinaka-importante, especially okay. for kids. Mm -hmm. no? Kasi it's actually hindi siya yung sun exposure lang. It's mm -hmm. more of the number of sunburns. Yung blister talaga. Doon nagsisimula. Kung Parang mayroon. kung nakailan ka habang bata, mas mataas ang ah. risk mo ngayon pagtanda mo to get skin cancer. So, skin cancer kasi hindi siya yung parang sa summer lang, magkakaroon ka na ng cancer. Mm -hmm. It's more of pwede mong malaman yun later on in life. Yes, long parang, run sa ano. Yes, mm -hmm. so it's more of the number of having sunburns ang mm -hmm. gusto mong talagang ma-prevent sa bata. Mm -hmm. Another one po from Arlene Lazaro. Uh, sabi po niya, hello po, doktor. Araw-araw po akong pinapantal since December ganito na po ako dahil po ba sa allergy? Ko kaya pabalik-balik. Pero di naman po ako madalas kumakain ng bawal sa akin. Lumalabas po kusa ang mga pantal. Umiinom po ako ng gamot na antihistamine. Ang pantal kasi maraming causes. Mm -mm. So, hindi lang sa pagkain. So, kailangan, yun yung kailangan medyo suriin kung anong pwedeng nag Um, Nagkukos mm -hmm. nun. Pwedeng pagkain, pwedeng gamot, pwedeng vitamins, pwede perfume, pwede. Ang dami kasing pwede. So, mm -hmm. kailangan natin tignan. So, example, kung exposed ka pa rin all the time, kahit na nag-antihistamine ka, 
pagtigil mo na antihistamine, lalabas uli. Or minsan, masyado kang exposed na doon, hindi na kaya pigilan ng antihistamine na lang. Okay po. Ayan. Another question po from from Daisy Malabonga. Sabi, good day po. Magtatanong lang po ako. Ang mother ko po ay maraming maliit na nal. At dumarami pa po ito sa kanyang leeg at batok. Makatiraw po ito pag pinapawisan, kaya kinakamot po niya. Pero nagsusugat po siya. Ano po kayang magaling na gamot para doon? Yung question is, nunal ba lahat mga yon? Kasi mm. normally, hindi naman ang nunal hindi naman masyadong madami Mada, all the warts time. Yung, baka, ano, baka parang warts mm -mm. yung dating. Ngayon, ang warts, eh, there are two kinds of warts. May warts na yung nakahawa yung viral, yung tawag namin veruca plana. Mm -mm. May ibang warts naman, yung seboreic warts, na tipong dahil sa araw, man, parang ah. gano'n. So, hindi naman lahat kasi sila infectious. I'm just yung, curious po, pag sa warts, yeah. namamana din po ba yun? Yung seborrheic warts, yes. Mm. Kasi nga yun yung parang namamana siya, tapos pag naarawan, lalong pwedeng dumami. Yun. Okay po. Thank you, Doc. Another question from Jonathan. Mas effective po ba yung display na sunscreen kesa sa yung ina-apply na lo lotion? Convenient kasi yung spray na sunscreen. Mm -mm. Kung yun lang ang available sa'yo, pwede na, sige na, okay na. Pero the thing is, hindi mo kasi minsan, minsan ma-quantify. Yung Tapos, sa spray. Sa spray, minsan feeling mo, nalagyan mo na lahat, pero actually hindi pa adequate yung pag-apply mm -mm. mo. So, yun lang yung mahirap sa spray, hindi mo ma-quantify kung gaano kadami or talagang nalagay mo ba talaga lahat. Mm -mm. Yun. Ayan. From Ana Romero po, sabi po niya, totoo po ba na prone to skin cancer ang taong may freckles or pekas? Um, actually, prone to skin cancer ang yung mga ma yung Caucasians, yung puti. Ah, okay. And normally, <laughs> mga puti, may freckles yun. Eh. Mm -hmm. Although sa atin, meron mga, mga tao din naman may freckles. Eh. Mm -hmm. Ang mahirap sa atin sa Pilipinas, ang dami natin different races, di ba? May Chinese, yes, may halo-halo. Halo -halo. So, Meron sa atin maputi, may iba sa atin kayumanggi, mm -hmm. no? So, basically naman, hindi naman lahat ng may freckles per se ay prone to cancer. It's more of like, more of lang, um, or pag may pekas, hindi naman. Hindi. It's more of, kung madali ka bang magka sunburn, magka -sunburn uh -uh. or pag nag, may iba kasi pag kahit na nakabilad, hindi na sa sunburn, umiitim lang. May mm -hmm. iba naman, konti lang, ilang minuto, sunburn na. Yun ang mas ingat dapat. Pero, hindi ibig sabihin kayo manggi ka, hindi ka na prone to cancer oh. talaga. So, pwede ka pa rin, pero mm -mm. Um, hindi kasing as the one na prone to sunburn. Okay. Yeah. Another question from Kay Bautista, ang freckles po ba ay prone sa, ka sa cancer? Ayan, I think nasagot din natin siya kanina. Mm -hmm. Ayan, another question po from, we're just filtering it out. Ayan, from... Ito po, biglaan lang to. Shout out to Vera Paula Zapote. She's my doctor in psoriasis daw po. She, actually, the last time po, meron din po nagsashout out from California. So, worldwide ah. na rin yung Manila Med Health Line. From, uh, another question from Algentrix. Gaano po ka-fatal lang skin okay. cancer? Well, it can, be, it can be fatal, especially if na nag spread na siya sa other organs. Mm -mm. So, may mga stage. All the cancers naman kasi sinestage yan. Mm -mm. Stage 1, 2, 3, and 4. Pag stage 1, yun yung parang early on, mababaw lang. Yes. So, Pagdating mo ng mga stage 2, 3, especially pag 4, yun kumalat na sa ibang lugar. Mm -mm. Yun na yung fatal. He pwede maging, yeah, pwede, yeah most sa likely. Sa chemotherapy na po. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ayan, from James Magallanes, asking for my friend, uh, Alvin Laxon daw, di ko po alam kung related po ito sa dermatology, pero paano po talaga mababawi yung mga buhok na wala dahil sa, sa pagkakapanood? <laughs> If it's ano related, po, yes po. Mm -mm. Sa mga guys, I think it's more dominant sa guys yung na, nawawala na sila ng buhok dun sa front nila. Uh, uh, pag... Pwede kasing tawag namin androgenetic alopecia, meaning mana-mana kasi yun. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, kung genetically na mana mo yung para lumiliit ng lumili, yung napapalitan yung buhok, pero paliit siya ng paliit. Yes. So, may buhok naman, pero parang sa, sa mukha, mm -hmm. so very fine, so nakikita. So, in terms of that, may gamot, pero halos parang forever mo siyang gagamitin. Eh. 
I think may may mga products din na parang how yes. to make it more uh, parang thicker yung buhok. Yeah. Ayan. Another question po from James Magallanes. Paano po ba naiiwasan ng eczema? Yung na-mention niyo din po kanina. Yung eczema kasi parang broad term yon eh. Parang mm -hmm. um, more of like dermatitis sa skin. So ang dami-dami pwedeng causes of eczema. Pwedeng contact dermatitis. Is it because of pikinamit ka ba? Ngayon ang contact dermatitis pwedeng allergic type or pwedeng irritant type. Mm -hmm. Yung irritant, yung tipong um, like yung mga dishwashing soaps, detergent soaps, nakaka-irritate ng balat. So pwede kang mga te, pwedeng pag chronic na, pwedeng kabagkakaroon ng parang matagalang um, gamutan, gamutan mm -hmm. or nandun parate siya sa so tawag nila, more of like layman's term na eczema dun sa lahat. Mm -hmm. Pero maraming causes nun. So, pwedeng allergic, pwedeng irritant type. Ayan. The following questions po, uh, medyo not related sa skin cancer, but still about skin. Yeah. Uh, someone's asking, uh, Toteng Tanglao, may natural remedy po ba sa skin asthma? Kakatakot kasi yung, yung my steroid na ointments. Pag tinasabi mo kasi skin asthma, yun yung tawag namin atopic dermatitis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those people often na may asthma, usually have yung sa balat din na nangangate. Mm -hmm. So ang skin asthma in a way, parang mas, yung patients na to, mas dry ang balat. Mm -mm. Pag dry ang balat mo, kung dry lang, so pwedeng lotions ka lang. Pero the moment na masyado mo na siyang kinamot ng kinamot or nagkaroon ng irritation or baka naman nagka-allergic contact dermatitis sa ibang products kasi sensitive sila, mm -mm. then kung masyadong mapula, minsan hindi na kaya nung moisturizers lang. Mm -mm. Then that's when we treat. Yun. Yung sa steroid ointments naman, As long as it's prescribed by a doctor, mm -hmm. and saka limited usually naman ang time nung pagpahid, hindi naman siya forever pinapahid. Mm -hmm. Pag forever pinapahid, yun ang masama. Uh -oh. yun. Pero pag, <laughs> kasi lahat naman ng gamot, whether pamahid or oral, hindi siya yung parang as needed basis lang. Talagang may, re may regimen talaga siya. Okay po daw. Yeah. Ayan, another question po. Off the topic again. Sabi po niya, uh, any body scrubbing po ba na advisable? Body scrubbing. Yes po. Para, kasi parang, sabi, may follow-up question siya. Okay po bang gamitin ng apple cider vinegar para sa akin? Siguro yung, yung nilalagay na ingredient or... Ah, well, it's more of like, yung when you say body scrubbing, parang you want to exfoliate mm -mm, yung, yung dead, dead skin. skin. But you have to remember also, na yung skin natin, parang from, from syempre nagpapalit siya, di ba? Nagpapalit ng balat from live to dead, ganyan. It takes time din eh, usually mga 24 to 28 days. Mm -mm. It takes time. So hindi ka pwede mag-exfoliate or body scrub every day. Uh -oh. Kasi nga, <laughs> kung baka katatanggal mo na eh. So kung baga parang hindi ka naman pwede tanggal ng tanggal all the time. Because it can irritate your skin. Mm -mm. Eh pag na-irritate yung skin mo, in defense ng balat mo, kakapal siya. Mm -mm. Pwede siyang kumapal. How Yon. frequent po ba should one person do this scrubbing po? Is it dapat weekly po ba siya or thrice a week? Well, depende how much you scrub. Like I said, the, yung from live to dead is usually mga 28 days, 24 mm -hmm. to 28 days. So, yung talagang matinding scrubbing, <laughs> pwedeng once a month. Lang, parang gano'n. Yung hindi naman, kasi iba, feeling nila, parang kailangan bato yung gamitin oh, all the oh, time. Yung, the harder it is, the more effective yes. it is. Gano'n. Yeah. Another uh, question po from My Angel's Heart. Sabi po niya, Doktora, how can I remove the dark spot on my face? Dati naman wala po ito. I'm on my mid-40s. Salamat po. Ayan. Yun, marami kasi when you say dark spot, anong klase siya? Um, lentigo ba siya? Yung parang, parang, parang wart na flat, no? Mm, I Or think parang mas pekas ano, ba mm -hmm. siya? Yun. Ah, Maraming kahit. Tapos okay. pag pekas naman, Meron yung mababaw lang, meron mm -mm. yung mix na may mababaw at saka may malalim. So, yon So, kumbaga parang, at the most, kung peka siya, you have to, mas umiitim siya with sun exposure. May maraming products to lighten it up, pero hindi natin mabubura yon entirely. Mm -mm. yon At tapos, expect din na pag na, naarawan kayo, iitim siya uli. Mm -mm. Yun. 
Ayan. At the doc, uh, another shout out po from our viewer. Ayan. Shout out to sa kay Joan Navarro Cuerdo, Dr. Aileen, the best na dermatologist. Thank you po na marami. Sabi di daw nagagamot alopecia. Pero siya nag pero siya nagamot niya ngayon, may kilay na anak ko at kumakapal na buhok. Salamat marami. Uh, Dr. Amy. Ayan. Bravo. <laughs> Maraming salamat din sa pag, uh, pagko-comments ng ating viewers. Siguro ito, Doc, uh, just another uh, general advice po sa ating mga viewers about the skin cancer. For skin cancer, especially ngayong summer, you really have to be careful when you go out of the sun. Sunburns usually ang to try natin i-prevent, especially mm -mm. Sa, at, sa mga bata. No? Parang siyempre, pag bata ka, parang feeling mo you're um, fearless, na tipo, nothing's gonna happen to you, but then the result can be later on. Eh. So, try to prevent sunburns and always be um, wear protective clothing and all that. And then, of course, the sunscreen, but it should not also be misused kasi mm -hmm. parang or the false um, feeling mo parang protected ka na just because naglagay ka ng sunscreen. You have to use the right kind. You have to know how to use it. Mm -hmm. Like I said, like 30 minutes before exposure to the sun, napahid mo na. And then kung nag-intense sun exposure, you're sweating, you're swimming, ideally every two hours ang application. Ayan. Ako, maraming maraming salamat to sa pagbahagi ng inyong kaalaman tungkol sa skin cancer. Personal, ang dami ko din natutunan, especially with the scrubbing and other skin care. Maraming salamat po. And of course, sa ating mga viewers na interested din in consulting with the doctora, uh, Dr. Akubilian here, nako, you may visit her from uh, Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And of course, on Wednesday, that's 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. At uh, you, Dr. Akubilian is available dun sa room 302. And you may also contact 524-9702. Yan. Maraming maraming salamat po, Doc. And of course, uh, sana maulit po ulit. Mali, pa-consult din po pala ako sa inyo. <laughs> At syempre, thank you din sa ating viewers for all the uh, comments and your questions and your inquiries. At abangan ng ating susunod na episode. And we're gonna talk about the different health issues na nakaka-apekto sa ating pang-araw-araw na Pamumuhay dito sa syudad. Again, I am Hannah Lepitan and this has been Manila Med Healthline. Only our best to make you feel better. Magandang hapon.